Hey, Jonathan here with Central Sound. Here we have a Sony WH-1000XM4 headphones, and I am going to show you how to replace the hinge swivel piece. A very common failure in this model of headphones is hinge swivel piece cracks and breaks and makes the headphones unwearable. So I'm going to show you how to replace that. First thing you have to do is pop up the ear pads to remove them. So here I have a small spudger tool. It's plastic, a very handy tool and you want to insert it in between the ear cup and the ear pad and pry upward. You will hear clips and unsnapping sounds. So here is the ear pad which we sell at centralsound.co as well as the replacement hinge piece that you would need. And remove the foam and once the ear pads are removed there are four screws here that you will need to remove. Um, and you can just use a small Phillips head screwdriver here, just like I have. And make sure you do this over a desk or table. You do not want to lose these screws, so put them somewhere safe. Once the screws are removed, you're going to want to remove the back cover, which is also the touchpad. So you can insert something right here. Here I'm using the spudger again. And you just stick it in there and separate it should come off fairly simply and then once you do loosen it uh, you want to be very careful removing this piece and here we have a ribbon connector so you want to be very careful with this part when disconnecting it from the board so you would gently pinch it and pull it upward there's nothing securing it in there so just pinch and pull and it will come right up just like that once removed set that aside next step would be to disconnect the battery connector which is right here this red and black wire together is the battery connector piece so you would pinch that and then pull that upward and that should come out as well there's nothing else securing it in there so pinch and pull very simple comes right out be very careful working around the battery with sharp tools you do not want to puncture the battery the next step is to remove this small yellow ribbon connector piece and you would gently pinch it and pull it upward now there are two screws you're going to want to remove on the board. There's one there and there's one right here. So be careful with these screws. You don't want to lose them. So make sure you put them in a safe spot and separate them from the other screws. Next step is to remove the main connector piece connected to this board. You can start by prying up on one side. Be careful of that black wire and then pry up on the other side to loosen it. Once both sides are loose, it should come out fairly simply. The next step is to loosen up this board. So I'm using the spudger tool once again, and you just want to kind of uh, stick something underneath the board and pry up just a little bit, very gently. You don't want to put too much force in here and just loosen it up because we're going to have to move it out of the way a little bit so we can get this main connector wire um, out of the way. So you loosen up the board and then you will pull it upward very gently and softly. And then once it is pulled up and loosened, you're going to want to tuck this wire back underneath those other wires that it's under and pull it out. Pull it out right to about here and then once that's in that position you're going to want to remove these two screws there's two screws that are holding the uh, hanger yoke piece um, on so you want to remove those two screws there's one here and there's one right here these two silver screws once again be very careful when removing these screws and put them in a separate spot than the other screws because they are different. 
and once those screws are removed you're going to want to pry up on the opposite side right about here so you want to separate this hanger piece from the ear cup and you can see it comes out and you can pull it apart just be gentle it does come out pretty simply so once that's removed you can put the ear cup piece to the side then you're going to remove the plastic mount piece from this wire so you kind of want to twist and bend the connector piece to the side so it fits through that hole just like that and put that to the side the next step is to remove these small gaskets so there's two small rubber o-rings right here and I'm going to use a, a pointy type of tool to get them off there so if these if these gaskets are broken you will need to replace them these ones are not broken so I'm going to remove them and reuse them and once again just like the other plastic mount piece you're going to want to um, bend the connector to the side and then stick the o-ring through it just like that and the other o-ring comes off just like the other one be very careful with these parts put them in a safe spot to the side you don't want to lose these either very important next step would be to remove this plastic cover piece it's part of the hanger so I'm using this pointy piece right here to pry upward and once it's kind of loosened there is some adhesive a little bit of adhesive holding it on there so once it's loose um, I'm just using this uh, kind of a flathead pry tool it's plastic and <clears throat> you can just work your way all the way around so I start on one side and then once I separate it on this side I kind of move to the other side so one side at a time just be careful because there is a wire underneath this plastic piece that you're prying up so you don't want to be jamming it in there I apologize for the color issue during this segment of the video don't know what happened to be honest with you but once this is pried up and loosened completely this cover comes off fairly simply so it actually just popped right out and this is what it looks like and this is the other side with the adhesive on it still and you can put that to the side and the next thing you want to do is uh, loosen up this wire out of these little crevices so you can gently pull it upward and then there are two screws one here and one there and you want to remove those screws once again put them in a safe spot uh, they are different than the other screws so keep them separate uh, once that other piece is removed you can put that to the side and the screw is still in there so just got to get that out of there there we go now there is a small metal clip piece that holds this hinge in place so here it is attached it may not be attached on yours if yours is broken we do sell that part as well as this part to uh, replace so um, if you do have it attached you would just push in on the opposite side in those holes and then you can see here on this side that it is uh, pushed out somewhat so you want to loosen it and then pull it out the rest of the way on the other side it comes out very easily and then you will remove the hinge swivel piece this one is not broken um, this is just a demonstration 
So yours might be broken or missing a piece or you might be missing the metal clip piece and that's okay. So you just remove that piece and then install the new piece. So you just want to feed this connector piece through that hole once again. Make sure you're doing it on the proper side. And you want to work the hinge swivel piece all the way up to the headband slider piece and you want to position it properly and in place so it's flush with the other part like that and once it is then you can reinstall that clip piece so uh, once again we do sell the metal clip with this part at centralsound.co it's included so here's the metal clip piece and you just slide it right in there and then just apply some pressure you can just use your fingers it's fine and it goes in there fairly simply so there it is fully installed on there so uh, once the clip is in place just give it a little bit of a test twist it a couple times uh, gently pull on it to make sure it's secure then you can start putting the hanger piece on there so you want to make sure that this is also lined up and flush properly and give it a couple twists to make sure that it's secure as well and then we're going to reinstall these screws that we remove so always make sure to keep those screws separate when you're removing them and in a place where you know where they go back so now that uh, those screws are installed I'm going to test this hinge and uh, make sure that it's on there properly and secure so it is working properly so we're going to continue to um, reassemble the parts so you want to tuck in this main wire as well um, in between those little crevices there so you can use your fingers and then maybe a small tool to push it push them down in there deeper And then once that is secured, you can uh, go ahead and put this cover piece back on as well. So you just line it up properly and just apply some pressure. You can use your fingers. I'm using a small tool here um, and applying pressure all the way around. And then you want to reinstall the rubber gaskets. So you want to feed that connector through the gasket once again. Then work it through. Now these both gaskets are the same, so you don't need to worry about mixing them up. I'm giving it a double check just to make sure that they are in there secure and in place. Once they are, you can reinstall this plastic mount piece. So you want to make sure that you're installing it the right way when you feed it through this wire. So the whole piece, the hole right there should be on the top section. And it should be facing the ear cup. Okay, so you want to make sure that the screw holes are facing the outside. So just like this. And then now we can reassemble the ear cup to the hanger here. So you want to attach the hanger first. You want to attach it on this side. 
and you would gently just line it up and then push it through and it does go on pretty simply this one just clicked right in normally they just click right in both of them actually so this just snapped right in into position um, and once they are you're going to want to make sure that the side is pretty secure and flush everything is flush and lined up and once it is flush and lined up you're going to want to reinstall these two screws so there's one there and one there and once again make sure you keep these screws separate they are not the same now once the two screws are installed you're going to want to tuck this main wire piece underneath and around the battery and underneath the battery connector wire just like that and then once that's tucked under there if it's not completely under there you can use a tool here like I have to apply some pressure there is a little crevice in there that it does tuck into right there so just like that then you want to position the board in place you want to make sure that these screw holes are lined up on the board and the ear cup mount piece. Just like that. So everything, these holes all need to be lined up. Now there are only two screws, so you want to make sure that you screw the right ones in. There's one there. So I'm just retightening that one again and then there's that one there so those two screws are the only screws those other holes need to be lined up then you would take that yellow ribbon connector piece and connect that back in and you just line it up and push on it a little bit and it goes right in and then next step would be to uh, tuck in this black wire so you really just want to make sure that this black wire is not in the way when you're connecting these two connectors back into place so we're going to have to connect the main connector right here. And this goes on really simply. So you just line it up and then apply slight pressure to it on both sides and it plugs right in. that's how it looks when it's completely plugged in I'm just double checking here with my fingers and making sure it's in there completely and it looks good so then the next step would be to plug in the battery connector and that just plugs right in as well so there are no clips or anything on the side securing it just uh, just plugs right in and pulls right out now once all the connectors are plugged in I'm just tucking these wires down a little bit and then I'm going to reconnect the touch board which is also the back cover here and you want to just line this up and apply some pressure to push this connector back and so there it is it is plug back in and now we are going to reattach it to the ear cup so you want to 
line it up and position it like it was and make sure everything is flush and there's no gaps. So I'll give it a quick check here. Everything looks good. Also checking the swivel. And now um, you would reinstall those four screws back into place. So once again, keep those four screws separate. I'll reinsert the foam and then you would install the ear pad so once again it has these clips here and you want to make sure they're lined up and we do sell these ear pads in case you do need a new set um, so you position them onto the ear cup and then apply pressure all the way around you should feel the snaps and also clicking sound you should hear now I'm just giving it a quick uh, swivel just to make sure it's working okay Everything seems to be in place. Once again, we sell these hinge swivel pieces at centralsound.co. It includes the metal clip. Come check us out.